Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sound Science. I'm Dr. Echo. 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 Today's sound science standard is, try saying that 10 times fast, sc.7.p.10.3. Recognize that sound waves move at different speeds in different materials. First, we need to understand that sound is produced by vibration, which is the back and forth movement of an object. I have my good friend Slinky here to provide a visual demonstration of these waves for you. This is how transverse waves move. This is how longitudinal waves move. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. Let's take a look at how sound moves in different materials. In solids, particles are very close together. Sound energy moves as one particle hits another. Because the particles in solids are so close, sound travels the fastest through a solid. In liquids, the particles are slightly further apart, so the sound takes a little longer to pass through liquids. In gases, particles are really spread out. Therefore, sound moves the slowest through a gas. Did you know sound waves can travel in all directions? They can also get reflected and bounce back after hitting a solid surface. This bouncing back is called an echo. Echo, 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 echo. Now I have some cool experiments to show you how sound waves travel through different materials. Wow, seeing is believing. Now, let's recap what we've learned today. Sound is produced by vibrations. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. Sound travels fastest through solids and slowest through gases. Sound waves can travel in all directions. The bouncing back of sound is called an echo. Echo, 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 echo. Thanks for joining me for today's sound science lesson. I'll see you next time. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Well, ever since I was little, I've known exactly what I wanted to be, and I can show you the moment that I knew. Okay, hi guys. As you know, I'm Matthew. I'm seven years old, and I'm in second grade. Pretty awesome. So here is our Django Fett. His head is not a sticker, okay? It's not a sticker, you can't peel off anything. Neither is his chest plate. Look at nothing to peel off. Ever since that moment, I've known I was destined to be a star. Now let's go take another look at adorable little me way back when. He's gonna have the ghost in it, and probably the little ship that they fly in with it. I'm not too much of a Star Wars Rebels fan, but it's really cool, so. Bye. Ever since those days, I knew Hollywood would come knocking on my door because of my boyish charm and my exceptional charisma. Now look at me. I have 2 million subscribers and I'm YouTube famous. I have three offers for pilot TV shows and I'm up for a huge part in a George Lucas film. We've seen past Matthew, present Matthew. I wonder what future Matthew will be like. Back in the day, I was living a dream, but now I'm poor. No one knows me and all I do all day is scream a little brass for going in my yard. According to today's VeterinaryBusiness.com, over 11 million households in America bought new pets during the pandemic. Dog adoptions have soared and businesses that sell chickens and supplies such as feed and coop have gone up to rates of 400%. Eighth grader Joshua Audet and his family got some new pets in the pandemic too. Emus and chickens. That's right, Joshua and his family own two emus that they hatched from eggs. They currently have 37 animals at their home. Let's meet Joshua to find out more about his own private zoo. Keeping emus as pets is trending in the U.S. The birds are flightless and can stand up to 6 feet 2 inches high. Their diet consists of insects, nuts, seeds, flowers, lizards, and different egg recipes. Why can't an emu feel his legs? Because he doesn't have hands. I crack myself up. I hope you've enjoyed today's student spotlight at the Audette Family Zoo. I'm Matthew Bath reporting for TSZ News. The United States Senate's first successful rocket into space on January 31, 1958. Explorer 1 was the satellite launched by the Jupiter Sea missile from Cape Canaveral on the east coast of Florida. Now, in 2020, Miss Eager students can say they have successfully launched their own rockets. These engineers first began with paper and straw rockets. They learned about the thin shapes and aerodynamics to prepare them for the bigger project, bottle rockets. The weight and the pressure of the bottles was very important, but the design and the creativity from the students really helped the rocket soar. This hands-on rocket project is one that Miss Eager students will never forget. Congratulations, Arcs, on your successful launches. Matthew Bath, TSZ News. Good morning, Sharks. I'm Matthew, and today's episode is all about The Walking Dead. The first episode of The Walking Dead aired on October 31st, 2010. Did you know some say if you watch too much of The Walking Dead, you can turn into a zombie yourself? I don't believe that because I watched 29 hours yesterday and I still haven't turned. Anyways, let's just go to the top story. Geez, how did it get so hot in here? Did the air conditioner break or something? You don't think. It's not possible that. No, 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 no. Let's just go to the hot topic. 
Uh, feels so good. I need to take my mind off things. I'm gonna go binge watch all of season four again while you guys go to the shark scoop. Oh, I really hope it's not true that if you watch too much Walking Dead, you turn into a zombie. <laughs> I do not feel good.